everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Hesha here and I was just thinking about what could be one of the episodes for today and then I was wondering if anyone would be interested in knowing something like my evening ritual and I thought why not, it, maybe it's good enough to just uh, speak about how I spend my evenings after my work schedule. So basically it's going to be today about how I try to unwind myself after a busy day so I really hope you guys enjoy this episode and first of all most of the time when I come back after work it's between like 4 and 5 in the evening so once I'm back after work between 4 and 5 uh, my first uh, thing that I do is to of course uh, take a shower just uh, change to my very comfortable clothes something that I really feel uh, like relaxed than I wear, you know, something that's maybe like pajamas or just a nice, um, you know, indoor wear, which I can just feel very relaxed and comfortable in and just lie down back on the couch. And of course, um, I really love to browse through the channels and stuff that I have, YouTube channels maybe, or maybe Netflix, or I sometimes go through HBO, uh, Max, I think, yeah, HBO Max and all of those uh, channels also that I have. So that's one way by which I really love to unwind. Uh, so mostly that's like the, yeah, after bathing, after taking a shower, the second thing that I really love to do is spend some time on the couch. I really love to uh, spend my time by reading. So next what I really love to do is read and I really love reading on my Kindle. I also, I really love the feel of books and I really love to buy books. But the best part about having Kindle is that I, I really thoroughly enjoy having that gadget because it makes reading so much easier. And I really love the fact that I can shop for books and I don't have to wait for most of the books. The moment I feel like I want this one, I can just click on it. It's just a click away. You click and you start reading. And you right away have the book. The access to having that book is so super easy. And you can just like flip through the pages and you can read even when it is dark, even when you're traveling. It's really light, lightweighted. So even if you're like going by train or flight, anywhere, it hardly takes much space in our bag as well. So if there is anyone, I know most of them who are avid readers really love having their Kindle with them when they travel or when they're like just at home. But to all those who's still wondering if they want to buy it or not, I would say like it's a very good investment until unless you're a person who really loves, loves to, you know, have the book in your hand. If you're not a person who's really focused on the feel and you're a person who wants to read, then whatever you have in front of you is good enough a uh, reading source, a source of reading. So that's how I shifted to Kindle. For me initially I was more or less very skeptical about that choice and I was like no I want to have the book in my hand. But then now ever since I have Kindle I feel like uh, I'm reading more. I'm able to, I'm making time to read more because it's more easier to just like pick it up and read and if I find something that's not interesting I can just quickly swap to another book and I can just like immediately have access to any book that I'm looking for and I really love investing time in reading uh, self-help books some of them especially based on like leadership or on how you can um, you know handle your emotions better maybe at workplace or even in my personal life so I really love reading all of these self-help books it's good to have good perspectives, different perspectives when you read these and you think about it. And sometimes maybe you don't know how you apply it in your life, but sometimes it just comes annoyingly. And then you just find the ways by which you can tackle certain stuff, even when you're not sure how you can. So I think that's how reading has really benefited me. 
So after that, it's more or less got to do with planning for the next day. I really love to go through my work calendar to see if I have any major meetings, major appointments, major calls to be made. If I really want to um, have something written down so that I don't forget, I do really like to kind of challenge my memory <laughs> by trying to remember things sometimes because sometimes it's really good to also force yourself to remember certain things rather than always depending on different gadgets or different things on which like sticky notes or so on which you always tend to write down things so that you don't forget sometimes it's good to like try try to like remember the minor things maybe not the very important things like if you're not a person who's at, who's good in any way with remembering things then yes please go ahead with writing or jotting it down somewhere but for me i really love to try to remember i'm not saying i remember everything there are things that i forget to but then if ever i get a chance to be able to challenge myself to remember and i keep thinking and if i get it i feel very happy about it and i feel like then i'm kind of putting my brain <laughs> to believe that it's still not forgotten the ways by which it can remember things so in a way it's good for me but still yes if there is anything very important and some things that i'm really tense that if i miss out on that then that's going to have major consequences with my you know the projects and stuff regarding work then I tend to write it down and then I just uh, try to write them or uh, just put it you know just mark them in my mail so that I can have easy access to it in the morning so that's the next thing that I do then the next thing that I really love to do is think about what I want to wear the next day. That is one thing I hate to keep for the next day morning because then I'm losing out on a lot of time wondering what do I want to wear or I wear something and then I'm unhappy and then I'm changing it in the last minute and I'm still unhappy and I'm like going one after the other after the other outfit and then finally I just end up wearing like a hoodie and a normal jeans. Sometimes I like to look like I put in some effort and some days I know it's like a blah look. Like, But one thing over here I've seen that females uh, tend to have, they tend to like even keep fake nails which are like so long and then they still like work and no one ever tells them like oh why are you wearing this like doesn't this like reduce your speed why don't you like remove it and then work so everyone kind of accepts you the way you want to look or you want to present yourself and how you love to carry yourself so I think that's a huge that's that's a truly a very respectable kind of mindset that people have over here the Swedish people so I really respect them for that so even if I did something very bold I, I don't think anyone would like comment comment about it but yes I do like to sometimes dress up do something different and you know feel better about myself or at least to feel a little different about myself than the normal days so those are the days when i really like to plan my outfit i do plan my outfit otherwise also every day so that i can also iron it if i want to and i can kind of cut down on all the confusions that could occur in the morning if i was to like really choose my outfit then in the last moment so uh i know there are some days but still when i have chosen an outfit and i still kind of back out from wearing it and i wear something else but most of the time I try to stick to what I have planned so that I'm not wasting time. So then the next thing, once I have planned my outfit, like what I want to wear, I kind of even think about what shoes I want to wear with it, what kind of accessories I want to have with it. I kind of try to iron my clothes. I really love the fresh feeling when you have ironed your clothes. So I know sometimes we really love to have the kind of clothes that doesn't require much of ironing or maintenance because it's so easy super easy to like just hang it take it out from the hanger and just like put it on and then hang it back so, but most of the times like if I'm you know reusing a top or so like if I'm like wearing it one after one wear like once I have worn it then I really like to like uh, iron it so it feels a little more fresh and it
want to rewear them then I try to like just iron them and spritz this linen freshener over it so it really smells really fresh and smells like you have just washed it and it does feel fresh too when you wear it in the morning. So ironing is something that I really love when um, I want to like just um, make the clothes feel much more fresh and I even sometimes kind of uh, iron my nightwear so it just feels so good like especially during winter when you kind of iron the clothes and you just wear it, it it's so warm and it's so nice and then just feels so cozy yeah. so next after that i really really love to prepare some hot drink so after i have done most of this in between i might have had dinner for sure i really love to have an early dinner so i kind of have my dinner before i really love to settle with settle down with some hot beverages which could be which is mostly tea i do not have coffee after like 3 pm for sure and there are very few days when I have to take coffee if I really have something really, really important where I need to like really focus. Otherwise, I really skip uh, having coffee because I don't want to lose out on my sleep. I'm quite very sensitive towards caffeine. I really love to have this tea, which is by Organic India, which says Sweet Rose Tulsi. And um, it's so sweet, just like they say, like, the rose flavor is so intense but yet so subtle and it literally feels like it's calming your mind down like you are literally unwinding and you're being on you know stress-free you're in a stress-free zone it smells so good it feels so good and it's it's amazing to like just drink just sip it and have it and then that's the time when I sometimes watch either TV or again I indulge in some reading time. If I haven't read earlier then that's my reading time. And then, or maybe I just watch my favorite shows on Netflix. And also sometimes, there's this recent book that I really read, which is regarding Ayurvedic uh, lifestyle. And um, when I say Ayurvedic lifestyle, it's more or less like different rituals and the different kind of uh, beautiful things that's brought together uh, from the Ayurvedic kind of living that we follow in India. And this book is called Pratnya and I believe that's how you pronounce it. This book had amazing insights on how we could take in some beautiful kind of rituals that Ayurveda has stated into our lifestyle and it's so beautifully written and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed reading it. And I reread it like, I finished reading it like in three days because I really couldn't keep the book down. I, I read it on Kindle, I couldn't keep the Kindle down because it was quite nice to know like how you can improve your lifestyle sometimes because some of us are not morning people, some of us are not night people. So it's nice to sometimes make things better when you know how you can improve it. So I was never uh, a morning person, but you now ever since I read the book, I kind of have this idea of wanting to wake up earlier, do more things so that I'm more prepared for the day ahead rather than waking up in the last minute, rushing out of the house, just going, getting into the office and just immediately starting to like reply to mails and just immediately getting into the work mode. But this feels more slow and more like 
I'm able to take things slow, like one at a time. And I think that feels amazing. It's not like I never knew this before until I read this book, but it's just that reading this book kind of motivated me to give it a try. Uh, this book has really influenced me in a positive way. So I really thoroughly enjoyed reading this book. So to anyone who's looking out for new book suggestions on how to improve your lifestyle or, you know, having a holistic lifestyle. So I think this is an amazing book and maybe you should give this a try. So. In the book, uh, I read this little thing, how you can make your own hot beverages, which is quite very good for your immune system, which is based on the Ayurvedic studies or Ayurvedic research. So this is just like simply boiling some water, adding some grated ginger into it, some turmeric powder, put it to a nice boil. And once it starts boiling, just put it, pour it into the cup. And there you have, you have a kind of uh, your own tea and it tastes amazing. And it also kind of makes you feel very good because ginger, turmeric, all of these are really good to boost your immunity. So if you want to have it in the evening or in the morning, you can choose. It's good either ways. Both both the times are okay. So I think uh, that was a very good tip. So some days in the evenings, I really love to sip on that, especially during winters when I keep having these constant trouble with flu, with cold or with throat pains or so throat and cough or so I really feel like this kind of tends to take all such you know, sore throat or cold related uh, stuff down my throat and just clears my nasal passage in my throat and completely makes me sort of immune to all the seasonal changes I'm not saying completely but most of the time and next I really love to meditate when I say meditate I don't necessarily sit right in front of God, then I do pray for some time. I really love to pray. Even if it's just for two minutes, I, I don't judge myself or I'm not hard on myself when I think about meditation. It's not like I have to do so many hours or so many minutes of meditation. It's more or less how much I can do. And each day I try to like do a little more if I can. If I cannot, then I just stick to my normal whatever I can do. I try to switch off the TV up to 9.30 so that I'm not going one after the other over and over again. One episode after the episode after the episode, it just keeps going on. Then maybe when I check the time, it's already like 11.45 and then there's hardly any time left for me to sleep. So these days I'm trying to prioritize my sleep so that I feel better when I wake up in the morning and I can have earlier mornings rather than, you know, as I said earlier, like rushing my day through. So. So I know every one of us have our own routines and rituals and it's quite interesting to know like how others do it or what are the interesting stuff that you do. And also before I go to sleep, I really love to have the food ready for the next day. So I would have already planned what I want to take to work the next day and what I would have for breakfast. So I know each one of us have very interesting routines and rituals. This might not be interesting, maybe most of you are already doing this, but I just thought I will share how I spend my evenings after work. So if you have anything that's interesting that you try out and you feel would be beneficial to others, please do let us know in the comment boxes below. So maybe it could help each one of us to just improve our routine to make something better and to look forward to something more interesting every single day so to everyone out there i wish you an amazing week and weekend ahead i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week and i hope you have so many beautiful and so many inspiring things to look forward to and until we meet again this is Asha signing off bye bye